So I'm in Santa Cruz because the weather's much better down here. And so I surfed first because it was kind of overcast. Gonna have this burrito and then go over to West Cliff, try to find a spot that's sheltered and uh, do a painting. I'm thinking of making something of this scene here. I've painted this before, but today I'm gonna to be working on a 16 by 20, so I'm going a little bit bigger. So there's the basic composition. Uh, as you can see, I've got two cliffs here and then some wet sand. Both are pretty much in shadow. I'm gonna have to really simplify these rocks. Uh, that's gonna be a challenge and also get an interesting arrangement. So I'm gonna start laying in some darks. So for my dark mixture today, I'm using um, burnt sienna and ultramarine. And I'm gonna be thinning it with a little bit of liquid and also just a touch of mineral spirits. For the cliffs in the distance, uh, which would be this one here, I'm sort of making a mixture that's kind of gray, so I'm taking the dark that I had before, adding a little bit of titanium white and ultramarine. And for the cliffs in the foreground here, they're a little bit warmer. So I'm adding a bit of uh, yellow ochre to it. So here's where I am right now. I kind of got it blocked in. Uh, left some little areas uncovered, sort of suggesting waves. Um, this allows me to key the painting because then I know, you know, the white water is the lightest part of the painting. So uh, by leaving those little gaps, then I can kind of key the rest of the painting to it. I think the values in the cliffs are good. Uh, the, the wind is picking up and the water is coming in really quickly. This is going to be a really quick sketch, but that's all right. I'm uh, having fun and I'm going to keep going. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, it's weird. It's hard to judge which way the wind is coming. Yeah. If it's coming that way and then it's coming from here. I think it's this way. And, and then the, the little bit of a cliff line is going to make it whirl. I know. Good stuff though. Thank you. This was probably one of the fastest 16 by 20s I've ever done. I think it was probably maybe 45 minutes. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get out of here while I can. Uh, so we'll go back to the studio and take a look at this and see what I came up with. All right, so here's the painting in one of my natural wood floater frames. 
and I can see some things right away that need to be cleaned up. There's a little bump on the horizon here. Um, also, too, this cliff is kind of a little bit too square for my liking, so I would change that, make it maybe a little more irregular. Um, these rocks are awkward here. Probably put some highlights on the top of these rocks and then lighten the sand in this area, maybe warm it up a little bit. But I do like the water pattern and I like these sort of warm tones in here uh, and also the color of the water. Uh, it could help too to reinforce the darks up along the, uh, the grass uh, along the top and, and also along the bottom. But overall, not bad for 45 minutes. So I'm framing up a painting that has sold and is going to be shipping out later today. Uh, and I want to show you guys how I mount my paintings in the floater frames. All right, so I want to make sure that I have a uniform space around the painting. And so what I do is I use these little shims. And these are just pieces of masonite or whiteboard, actually. And I've got like a little bin full of them. I use cardboard as well. So you can see here the spacing is pretty much two pieces of masonite and a piece of cardboard. And that's all the way around. All right, so I'm gonna use pan head screws. I think these are inch and a quarter and that's how I'm gonna attach the painting to the frame. Okay, and the wood I'm screwing into is right here. This is the cradle that I've glued onto my panel. Um, this is just obviously paint from when I was painting and I'm gonna remove this with rubbing alcohol. Right, so once the back is all cleaned up, I will sign it using um, a Sharpie. It's like a fine point Sharpie. Next, I'm going to mount the picture wire. So I measured down one third from the top of the painting. In this case, that's going to be seven inches because it's 21 inches in total. All right, so I'll use 5 8 inch pan head screws to hold the wire. So I take one final look and make sure that the space around is uniform. Looks good. Dog sitting. This is Henry and here's Sammy. Here's another painting that's going out. This is an 11 by 14. This one because it's uh, just a panel without a cradle. I mount the painting into the frame using 3M mounting tape. This stuff is really strong. This was painted on masonite, not whiteboard. So what I did was I taped out a little section here, painted it with gesso so I could write title, name, and date. All right, Sammy wants to say hello. All right, so it was definitely a busy day, uh, but it feels good to be productive. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there are over 125 extra videos on my Patreon page. I'll put a link down below. Other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Henry wants to say hello too, don't you Henry? <laughs>